to Walmart, I mean, maybe ShopRite. I'm like almost positive Walmart's near where I am now. But which side of the street I do not know. I just know when you see Lionel. Yes, I found it. Sorry, the guy behind the only man. Because I went to look for a little sudden, but it's okay. I know when I see Lionel I'm close. And guess what? I am very close because guess what? It's Walmart. Hello, Walmart. Hello, Lionel. <laughs> Sounds like there's a body in my trunk. <laughs> it's the blender that my grandma put in my trunk. And though we really don't need any other blenders. Oh, it's kind of quiet. Considering for Walmart, what is this, Tuesday? Yes. Gotta go to Walmart. When you're going into Walmart to get one thing, but you know you're gonna buy a lot more than one thing. But it is what it is. We'll see what I buy. So I just got home from Walmart. It's a bit of a mess because I was about to undo it and wash everything. So we're gonna just get something that I bought because. For that time of month, and you don't need to see it. And also, I got two of these. We're gonna do a little bit of haul here. Two packs of black plastic clothing hangers, because where do I need them? I don't think we can fit in my closet. I gave Daniel the walk in, <laughs> which he's made into his little man cave, and I actually think it's really cool. And one day I'll show you. So, I got these. Mainstays, plastic hangers in black. It comes with 18 hangers in each pack. Then I got this really cute pillow. It's reversible. I might cut these things off. It's like a pet family type decorative pillow. I was probably gonna put it on the couch. Being that it's gray. And it says love with the claw for the O. I thought that was cute. And on the other side, it's paw prints. And it's from their Better Homes and Gardens. So cute. I was just like browsing around. Oh no, I'm pulling the thread coming apart. It's all right. We'll fix it. I'll just cut it on the L. Well, you know Walmart, but it's cute and it's soft. And it matches our couch. And then I was looking at like, the home decor frame and thing section and this quote caught my eye and I was like that's really cute and I was contemplating between this and something else and I was like but this really really caught my eye I'm hoping that Daniel can put it in our bedroom perhaps I think he needs to move Marilyn up higher behind our main dresser because she's too low Definitely too low. Um, but this, somewhere maybe like over there on the wall. And it's, uh, let me take this off. It's like a bicycle, it's a bicycle wheel or something. What is this? It's a 15 by 19 wood um, wall art type situation. And it says, 
thought it was so sweet. And then it wasn't expensive at all, obviously, because it's more. It was, it was no more than $20. I want to say 19 something. And, alright, whatever, I'll take this off later. It says, it is up to you to see the beauty of everyday things. And the tea and things is a little faded looking, but you can read that. That's what it says. I got a really cute little wall. And I got a new frame for one of my birthday pictures that I have on my on my dresser here that keeps falling. Because the frame just sucks so bad. It's like you can't stand up. So I'm gonna change it out because I like that picture too much to part from it. Then I got a four by six standard black frame to replace it with. And this will just sit like this. It's my collection of pictures. And then I got this one for the laundry room. Hopefully Daniel's not mad and is like, you got more pictures. Yes, I did. I got more pictures. So this one, I thought would be cute for our laundry room. Sorry, I gotta throw it in. It's gross. It needs to go. Wait a minute. Yes, I did. And this one says same day laundry service, family owned and operated. And I thought this was too cute not to buy. Too cute not to buy. This one's a 12 by 12, just like I thought it was. Okay. 12 by 12. I only know that because I just got a frame for a picture that's 12 by 12. <laughs> Recently. Something else. And I'm like, it was like 12 by 12. And yes, it is. So that's for the laundry room, because we need something that's in the laundry room. And what else do I have here? Oh yeah. Then I got some kitchen utensils to add to my collection that I just got from Bed Bath & Beyond. More cookware, utensils, knives, what have you. So these caught my eye because of the look of it. They're like black. It's a set of three knives with like, I don't know if I want to put that holder piece or not, but it comes with like some, th I think that's what it is, like a thing you put the knife into, a cover, if you would call it that, I don't know. And it's from a brand called Time and Table, and they have gold specks on them, like that's kind of like, what do you call it, safety? And they only can use other kind of stuff, and I thought that was really cool. I liked it. So it comes, it says sheaths included. I guess a sheath is the cover? Sheath? Cover thing? I don't know. Quality carbon stainless steel. Three piece set, non stick coated stainless steel blades with comfort grip handle. The handles are pretty comfortable, I'd say. Kitchen knife set. So this one, and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong because I don't speak Japanese, is what I think is called Santoku knife. It's a seven inch blade and it's their version of a kitchen knife. Then there's the utility knife, which is a five inch blade. I'm reading from the back of the, the package. And then the, lastly, the little guy is a paring knife, which has a 9.5 inch blade. I just thought it was so cool. And it tells you like what you can use them for and like, how do you like how to keep them clean and good? Care and use hand wash with blade soap and warm water, towel dry. Towel, towel. Oh, that reminds me, it's right. We have an episode tonight tomorrow. Avoid abrasive cleaners. Prolonged soaking is not recommended, so not for use in dishwasher. It's definitely a big warning. And they also have an Instagram. Follow us, Time and Table Kitchen, and tag Time and Table Kitchen for a chance to have your photo posted on our page. I might do that, and it's a, and this is interesting, I've never seen this before. Please note that this product is not for sale to people under the age of 18. This product must be used responsibly and appropriately. But I wasn't carded. Okay. And then, I was creating a pile of grammar stuff. I got these. It's a set of four stainless steel kitchen tool set from Mainstays, same brand as 
the frame, the little picture frame and the uh, hangers that I got. It includes one serving spoon, one slotted, one slotted turner, one ladle, and one pasta server. Yeah. Um, I think I still have it, like a black one that's made out of rubber, whatever it is. I don't know. Whatever that material is. But this is nice too. It's not the best quality, but it's better than having nothing. And I figured if I were, whenever I make soup, which I was like, I was interested in doing, I wanted to make some chicken soup. Um, my mom's old recipe sometime in the near future, now to be at my house. And, um, so I was like, I could use this video. But yeah, I figured this would be a good idea to get. You can put it in the dishwasher, it's dishwasher safe, unlike Google Guys. And then we have, and this was very difficult because I couldn't find eight. Eight um, placemats, but I'm wanting to get placemats for our table. This actually matches very nicely. And I, for some reason, I feel like Daniel's mother has these, but I might be wrong. I feel like I've seen this before and not just at Walmart. They're double-sided placemats, so you can use whichever side you want. This is one side on this one, and this is the other. It says live, laugh, love. And I have, I only could find, this is probably all because I literally went through them. Three, four, five of these. That's all I could find, and I'm pretty sure that's all that they had. I got five of these placemats. And they're like easy to use, easy to clean. I wanted something easy. Now these are double sided too. One side says grateful like because they match. But I only was able to get two of these because of all they had. So I had seven placemats when I really wanted eight or six. So I mean I could do one on each end, one of those in the middle, one of them in the drawer, you know, and this six. No. Four. I don't know. I'm short one. One side says grateful and the other side says blessed. Once you take the sticker off, hopefully it's not a pain about to clean off. But either way, it's plastic. It just says to clean hand wash. Very easy to do. Easy, easy, easy. Very easy. And I'm like, why spend eight dollars or so on a placemat? For something that's not easy to use, easy to clean, easy to maintain. You can buy these for, I think it was $1.96 each. Yes. And then I bought bath soap because we'll probably need it in the near future. And it's easier for me to get it now than, you know, good to have on hand. You never know when you might need some Irish spray. And I use the original because I have sensitive skin and this doesn't really irritate me. And I'm afraid to get anything off now. So I got the impact is cheap. It was like three something, I think. Less than four dollars for the impact, and I was like, what? Definitely. Okay, this is the most interesting one of all. So I literally separately grabbed all these little guys, which we'll get to. And I stuck it in here. I got this bathroom garbage pail, but I'm gonna put it beside our couch because Again, it's gray or silver, and I thought it would be really pretty. And I like to have a garbage pail when I'm sitting at the couch because I use a lot of tissues and things. So rather than throwing them on the floor and picking up later, which is disgusting, I'm like, I need a garbage pail. So I bought this. And I was looking at it, and I'm like, this reminds me of a garbage pail that somebody I used to know has, or used to have. Is this the same one? And they said it was $30 and this was only $22 and change. So, it could just be a coincidence it looks like the one that they had. But I thought this was really pretty for even there. I need to get a new one for the bathroom to be honest, but I'll get one later. I'm like, like, one of the cheaper looking ones, like the plastic ones or something. I don't want to think about it. And I was trying to find 
excuse me, something else, and I just can't find it. I needed to get this other thing that I just couldn't find. And it's like something that we don't usually have, but I need to find it. I needed this little answer that I can find, so I was like, whatever. And I kept going up and down and around every aisle. One, because I didn't know where I was going. And two, because I didn't know where I was going. And three, because nothing else to do. And four, because I needed ideas. And I still couldn't find them. But what I did find was I got six of these little espresso cups, espresso mugs, with different sayings. I really wanted another one of one that was sitting out of place on the shelf above where these were. And it said hot stuff on it, but I got a few of these. This one says rise and grind. Because I was like, we have the, uh, the dishwasher and my crew safe. Wow. Because um, now that we have my Nespresso maker, and it makes espresso, espresso, espresso shots. God willing, I can take care of these. I got little espresso mugs. Aren't these adorable? And I don't remember how much they were, but I think they were like 94 cents. I want to say 94. Wait, are this from New Jersey too? They're made in Jersey City, New Jersey. It's so cool. So, I really packed for this one. I'm going to break them on the way to the kitchen. So, and this one says, how you brewing? How you brewing? Is the white? Yeah, the inside's white. I guess you'd say it's white. How you brewing? I can't wait for Daniel to see. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to put them in the dishwasher. Uh, I'm uh, I'm just so excited. I got these little espresso mugs. I gotta take a Snapchat of these or something. And then I got another, how you brewing? It reminds me of Wendy Williams. How you doing? Let me take the stickers off while I'm at it. How you doing? And I got this hot stuff one that was actually sitting on a different shelf near where these were. It was out of place. And it was not broken. And I was like, how do you not want this? And I wish that there were more like this because I thought it was extra adorable. Hot stuff, it sure is. Um, and then there's more. I think I got six. Yes, I did. I was gonna get more than six. Yes, oh my god. I was gonna get more than six, and then I was like, mm, 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 I don't know. Apparently, I really like the how you doing ones, cause, or how you brewing, because this is the third how you brewing mug. How you brewing? <laughs> Should have gotten an even amount. Minus the hot stuff. Oh my god. Oh, I should have got more of these. This one says Deja Brew, which I also thought was adorable. Deja Brew, and I'm trying to get this off. This took her off. They are dishwasher and microwave safe, although. Microwave. This is like a super sized mug for Goldie Dogs. I'm gonna take these off. So that's all I got right now at Walmart. Um, thank you again for stopping by. Please give this video a thumb up. Thumb up. And if you liked it that much, please subscribe to this channel, Lulu's. Oh my god, my tongue's all bleeding weird right now. Lulu's World. And I will see you all later. Bye.